growth in the Trump economy has been astronomical. But now top economists are warning that leaner times are ahead. I spoke with Federal Reserve President James Bullard about this very topic yesterday. I think the, the projections are that the economy is going to slow. But, um, and I think that's the right thing to base policy on, that, that that should be how you plan. And then you hope for the best. You hope that uh, productivity will improve in the U.S. economy and you'll actually get faster growth. That would be great news. The next Fed meeting is September 26th. We are expecting rates to move higher at that time. Joining us now to discuss that is Bankrate.com senior economic analyst Mark Hamrick. Mark, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. This survey came from your firm. What prediction should we take to avoid an economic halt? And what is leading to this economic slowdown, given the fact that we just saw two straight quarters of 4% growth? Well, uh, in a way, you just answered the question. Good morning, uh, Marie. It's great to be back with you. Uh, I think, you know, the just completed second quarter with 4.2% growth in the U.S. and the fact that 2018 is widely expected to be uh, the strongest year that we have uh, seen in some time in the sense of roughly 3 percent and then whether it's uh, our economists weighing in, whether it's the Federal Reserve sort of projecting out into 2019-2020, you don't have any predictions for 3 percent growth in the coming year nor the following year and so you take together the impacts of a front-loaded tax cut. You know we have the stock market down this morning because of trade concerns. We have this kind of uneven situation with the U.S. economy and economies overseas, including our trading partners. And then finally, uh, as we just referenced, the Federal Reserve uh, does seem to be on a trajectory of rising interest rates all the way through next year. Now, we can uh, hope, perhaps, that the Fed uh, will not necessarily uh, be in that mode to take so much accommodation away, but that's the expectation, and of yeah, course, we'll I get there I still haven't heard any solid... So... The main reason this is happening, and it's funny that he even mentioned it, it's, it's because of our tax cuts. It was front-loaded, and I'm preparing for this economic dip by investing in cryptocurrencies because as uh, the real estate market, which I think is overvalued, the stock market, which I think is very overvalued, start to go down, people are going to move to commodities, which would be gold, silver, and what do you know, crypto. And that's why I f do feel like cryptocurrencies is a great hedge to uh, protect yourself against downturn in the market. And uh, for the most part, uh, I don't think this is going to come gradually. Like I, uh, sorry, it's going to come gradually. So uh, interest rates are going to keep going up. And as interest rates go up, our market will take a flip. And when it does, I do see a lot of promise in cryptocurrencies. But let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you guys soon.